It was justified. This video is brought to you by TatumReport.com. TatumReport.com, we need your support. If you want to donate to TatumReport.com, the link is in the description section. We are also doing a giveaway for anybody that donate between today and tomorrow, the 31st through the 1st. If you donate any amount, we're going to give away two items. The first item is the hat on top of my head. Obviously, you guys have seen the Tatum Report hat. It's, uh, it, people have it all over the country. Um, it's not available for sale, so it's only available to give away. So we're going to give away five hats, and we're going to give away three pins. All right? This is a 50 cal pin. Very good quality made. I wish I could put it closer to the camera, but it snaps. It is sealed. This is real wood. Great pin. Heavy. It, 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 this, is a, this is a legit product, and it seals right on top. Listen. You hear that? It's not like... The other little stuff that get on there, it seals right here, give you a good product. If you want to donate between today and tomorrow, we're going to give away five hats and three of these um, incredible pins um, if you donate. So link is in the description section. If you want to get involved in that, like and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live and make a video. Y'all know what it is. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be very quick and succinct about what I'm going to say. Everybody has seen the video of the guy at his front in his front yard literally having a face off with the police ended up in a police shooting and he ended up living. I think he got shot seven times and lived, which is, which is very fortunate for him because the guy's an idiot. However, we're going to go over that video, but I want to make a clear distinction right now that people are conflating justified situations with, with non justified situations. To me, I, I feel like Stevie wonder can see whether police officer, police officer involvements are justified or not. It's not that hard. But there are people who have a vested interest in conflating the two so they can play the victim role and demonize police every chance they get. Now, everybody has seen this video. This is not the video, um, the main video, but this is a video of police misconduct. Uh, police brutality matters. I know Joe, I, I don't know, unintentionally or intentionally, Joe has created an anti-police channel. When he claimed that he wanted to just point out police misconduct, this channel is anti-police. Every comment is bashing the police. This is a clear misconduct by APD officer. He should have been suspended. He should lose his job. I mean, I, I'm just being I'm just being honest. Now, everybody want to talk about mental health or everybody else, but what about the mental health of these police officers? I think this police officer probably was having a bad day. But you can't kick people in, in handcuffs. I wanted to kick people, choke people, and all of the above, but I never did. Why, Mr. Tatum? Because you go to jail. When you kick and hit people in handcuffs, no matter how mad they make you. Now, quick quick synopsis of this video. We're going to watch it real quick so you guys can, can kind of get the rundown of an unjustified situation. Then we're going to talk about the justified. Wrote a film. So it looked like she lifts her head up, spits on him, and then he kicks her in the head. Watch it. Spit. He, he kicks her. He is probably sick of her, just like everybody else is. Did she deserve to get kicked in the head? Probably. But the police officer ain't the one that, that, that shield out that justice. You can't do it as a police officer. I don't care how mad she make you. I don't care if she spit on your uniform or not. I don't care if she call you the N-word. She spit on you. It doesn't matter. You can't kick a handcuffed person in the face. So he's in trouble. Now, let's go to the Justify situation. Same channel. Same channel. The same guy is saying that that is not justified. And now he's saying this is not justified. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Gentlemen and Latas, this is probably the most clear-cut, justified shooting that I've ever seen in my life. The most clear-cut. Roll the film. Here, you got to cut your, cut your thing on. At the end of the day, this thing now I want to break this down real quick, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very quick. There's a police officer that have pulled up in his driveway right here. This man. If you don't want to talk to the police, you don't want to cooperate, just go in your house. If you feel like it, if you go in the house, all you got to do is go in the house. If they supposedly have no justified reason to, to communicate with you, just walk in the house. But instead, you sit on the porch, pull your jacket off, and challenge the police. Let's roll it. Now, now obviously, anti-police brain-dead folks put commentary here, but we'll, we'll, we'll get it. You want to with I'm not the N word you want to f with. This is this is this this makes sense. What are you talking about? I'm gonna tell you, you. And this is a black officer out here too, mind you. You not this you want to with. What do you mean? 
What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you need to know about me? I'm trying to figure out why you so upset because I pulled up. Why you pulled up? That's the question. Why are you so upset that I pulled up? He asked the police officer, the black police officer, the question, why you pull up? This is what the police officer says. Wait, why you pull up? That's the question. I, I didn't know why you, why you, pull, why you pull up. We've been getting calls about you. Now nah, you ain't making get a call. The officer said we've been getting calls about you. I just pulled up to my house from off of work. This not you want to with. I'm going to keep it real with you. This is not the you want to it's not the end you want to F with. He told him we were getting calls because of your reckless driving. You can pull all the, all the cops you want to pull up. This is the you want to pull up. He pulls out a gun. He pulls out a gun right here. Now, this officer out here, in my personal opinion, had the utmost restraint. This guy is telling them, you, I'm not the end you want to F with, which is, which is an aggressive statement to make which puts you in the mindset that this guy is is on the edge he's not a guy that's sitting there wanting to talk to you he's challenging you saying you don't want to f with me probably because he's going to do something about it now he pulls out a gun right here the officer doesn't shoot him could have potentially but the officer probably very confident in his shooting ability and confident that this guy's drunk and not thinking straight that he don't shoot him right away no, no. He tell him, put the gun down. The cop goes over here to cover, right? Put your gun down. This is the you want to f with. Put your gun down. Why he have a gun in his hand? He said, I'm not the end you want to F with. You talking about, no, no, I ain't putting shit down. He said, he ain't putting it down. I'm not putting shit down. This is not the you want to f with. Let me, let me keep it real with you. Hey, man. Now, so this is this is how things get complicated, and I think this is why it needs to be an explanation. Now, you got to think about this for a minute. This officer is contacting him. He's being belligerent. Now, this officer that just pulled up wasn't at the scene. This is these this is how things escalate. This officer wasn't at the scene. They don't they don't know exactly what's going on. They get a call for backup because this guy's being belligerent. And this officer is by himself at this guy's residence. This person, this police officer, has whatever preconceived understanding of what this situation may be like as they're en route to this call. Because they can't, they're not watching this film like we're watching it. So she could be thinking that they're getting ready to fight. She pull up, the guy has a gun. Now, when he when the black officer pulled up, he didn't have a gun. The black officer saw this go from a calm situation, a little bit aggressive, to now a gun is introduced. This officer pulls up with a gun introduced. So her sense of awareness and heightened suspicion and aggression is much higher than a black police officer that was here already watching this escalate and had already built somewhat of a conversation rapport with this guy. Roll the film. Get on my problem. No. Get on my problem. Get on the ground. Yeah, I ain't get on the ground. See, now she, she see the gun and she's ready to go get on the ground, get on the ground. This officer, the black officer over here, has already established that this guy is probably drunk and 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 is not thinking straight. Get on the I'm, not get, I'm not getting on the ground. Get on the ground. I'm not getting on the ground. Is... Not getting on the ground. Wife comes out in a bathrobe. He's intoxicated. No, I don't. He said he's intoxicated. I can see. I can hear that he's intoxicated. Watching his video. The guy just said he drove from work to his house, and the guy is clearly intoxicated. Okay. Shit. Keep your head, man. Let me tell you something. Don't you with the wrong people. I just want to talk to you. What you want to talk to me about? Talk to you. What? About your driving. My driving. I want to talk to you about your reckless driving. What? Your reckless driving. Now let's explain this. If this gentleman has been involved in reckless driving, whether or not he's been involved or not, if the officer believes that he's been involved in reckless driving based on reasonable suspicion. You know, it, this doesn't have to be the guy. You can have reasonable suspicion based on vehicle description and or the driver description. Or you can be an eyewitness to the fact. But if you got a call of a, of a, of a Ford matching his description, driving recklessly, and you identify and you see a guy jump out drunk, 
a reasonable person have a, enough suspicion to, to contact him and even detain him until they figure out what's going on. So this officer have every right to be on his property. The, the other officer has every right to be on this guy's property. You can't ask them to leave the property when they have reasonable suspicion to believe that you've committed a crime. An investigation will yield whether or not this is the guy. However, preliminarily, they have reasonable suspicion, which gives them the right to detain you if they wanted to. Rotafel. Where? Where? Damn, get back inside. I'm not leaving y'all here. No, no. I'm not leaving y'all out here. What's your name, sir? Let me do. What, what record is job you got? What record? Now, he's, at, he's using a tactic to de-escalate. I just want to talk to you. What's your name, sir? He's trying to de-escalate this guy's mannerisms. What job you got? No, no. Hey, sir. Let me see you. Let me. Hey, what? What's your name? Do it. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm not legal. Listen to me. Put your camera on. Get get off my property. You and the legal. I'm about to deal with. I'm gonna tell you straight up. I'm legal. Let me tell you something. My property. I didn't do you nothing. I didn't do you nothing. No. Wife is telling him. Calm down. Calm down. She know he's irate. She know he's belligerent. Calm down. Calm down. I'm not. Is that your husband? Calm down. Yes. Okay, let's talk. I just want to talk to him, okay? You don't want to talk to me by nothing. At this point, I don't want, I don't want to shoot the heck. I just want to talk to you. Motherfucker. Hey, let me tell you something. Yo. Let me tell you something. I'm not the f***er you want to deal with. What's your husband's name? I'm not the f***er you want to deal with. What's your husband's name? I'm not the f***er you want to deal with. Man, get in the f***er. Shut up. Shut the f***er. Now, the other officer starts yelling. Here is where hindsight is 2020, right? The officer that started yelling, she's white. He's a racist. This guy is a racist. She's white. She started yelling, which escalated the situation. Now, does she have a reason uh, to escalate? I would argue she has a right that she, she has a reason to believe that this guy is a danger. The black police officer is being incredibly patient. But this guy now has another person involved, his wife who's in the middle of all of this, if some start going off, she's in the middle of it. This guy is not controlling his hands. He has a gun on him. He's belligerent. He's been drinking. He is clapping and yelling at him, saying, get the F off my property. I'm not the end you want to F with. Then other police officers probably sick of playing pansy and said, well, we got to escalate this to a certain degree because this guy is unpredictable. Now we have another person introduced. Hindsight, yeah, she could have piped down a little bit. Maybe he would have calmed down. But when he's a racist and he don't want to hear from a white person, this is how he acts. Shut your white up. Let me talk to this man here. Shut your white up. Let me talk to the black man. That's what he's saying. Get in the house. Get off here. Get the ass off my property. Get the ass off my property. Get the The white lady. The white lady get out. The black man can stay right there. Listen, Calm down. Listen, get her ass off my property. Get her. Get the white lady. Not not the black man. Get the white lady off my property. Now, it. I, I don't know what It sounds like somebody shot. And it looked like the police shot first. Not unless he discharged his gun on accident or something. But it looked like the police shot first. Now, is it would it be wrong if she shot? Would it be wrong if the if the uh, other police officer shot the black man? No, it would be wrong. He comes off the porch and reaches for his waistband. He's already agitated, aggravated. He comes off the porch, reaches for his waistband. It wouldn't be irrational for them to take a shot on him because he's now presenting himself as a deadly threat. Now he's cocking the gun and everything. And somebody's saying he's defending himself. Doing a shootout with the police is not defending yourself. If you if you didn't want to talk to them, you can go in the house. Okay. Ah, Charles, no! And she yelling at her husband, Charles, stop. What, what are he doing? What is he doing? What is he what is he doing? What is he thinking? But they def people defending this guy. What are you doing, bro? Look, he he keeps trying to find him. All right, so 
they put he put his whole family life in danger. Now the rest of the video you can see that um they're gonna render aid and all of this stuff. He lived. He lived. Nobody died in this situation. He lived. I think he got injured. I think his his uh, wife got injured um in an exchange. But ladies and gentlemen, all of this could have been avoided. First of all, don't drink and drive, kids. He was drink he was drunk. And he clearly admitted that he drove his truck up from work. He was drinking and driving. Now, when a police officer said, we've been getting calls about your erratic driving, it makes perfect sense that that's probably the guy. However, walk in the house if you don't want to talk to the police. If you're out there, don't pull a gun out. Don't pull a gun out on the police. They're going to they're gonna have to respond to you. Now, how, how should a man have dealt with this situation, ladies and gentlemen? How should a man have dealt with this situation? How would I, as a rational person, deal with this situation? It's very simple. If I pull up to my house and I wasn't doing nothing but getting out working, a cop just drives up. He just drives up and says, hey, can I talk to you? And I'm like, oh, this dude got the wrong guy. Now, let's act in good faith. The police officer may believe I'm the guy he's looking for. In good faith. He may believe I'm the guy. Somebody gave him the description that's similar to me. I'm going to go out there and show him I'm not the guy, give him the information he needs so they can leave my house. I don't need to argue with them. They're acting in good faith. Let's presume. And I'm acting in good faith, which is the officer is being kind to me and saying let's hit communicate because in good faith you may not be the guy. Or maybe, um, you know, he probably is and the cops are trying to be nice to him. So they can get it, so they can lure him in to have a conversation and probably detain him for drunk and drunk driving. But you have a conversation with him. What's the worst that can happen? You get become a multimillionaire because they arrest you for the wrong reasons? All you gotta do is talk to the guy. He's another black man. Go out there and say, hey, it ain't me. Here's my driver's license. I just came from work. Do you need me to call an employee? My wife can validate. When she get out the shower, she come talk to y'all. It ain't me, I promise. I blow into the breathalyzer, man. It ain't me. I haven't been drinking. I haven't been. It ain't me. Sit out there for maybe five minutes. If it ain't you, you good. This is how you react when you're guilty. When you know you're finna go to jail for drinking and driving. And you know they caught you. And now you want to act stupid and get in a shootout with the police. And this dude, this dude Joe, on Police Brutality Matters channel, should be ashamed of himself because I feel like he pushes the agenda to create anti-police rhetoric. Why do you say that, Mr. Tatum? Well, let's just go here. Let's just look at some comments. You know, they really were messing with him. He tried to see, he, he tried to say that he was drunk, but he just got off of work. And let me tell you how dumb people are. You shouldn't believe neither one of these people. The police officer said he was he was drunk. He said he just got off of work. If you're not going to believe the police officer, then why are you believing him, him saying he just got off of work? He could have just came from the bar. What do you think? People tell the truth all the time? 99% of the people lie to police. He just came from work. Now as he work at a bar, he looks drunk to me. I mean, he, he's acting drunk on the video. But see, people don't think. See, all he did was came from work. So, the, so, so you believe the police officer just made it up. But you don't think he just made it up. He's telling 100% true with a gun in his hand doing a shootout with the police, and you believe him. Uh, if the cop would have just left it alone and say, okay, sir, we will be on our way, nothing would have happened. This is what people think. So, so the cop's supposed to just, listen, you getting shot is your fault. It ain't the cop's fault. It's your fault. So if you want to get shot, then you can argue with him. They don't have to leave the scene. They're investigating the crime. If you want to, if you want to get shot, then you argue with them and you have put the expectation on them to leave the scene. You the one got shot, not them. They won. But but people's mindset, if they would have just left, well then anytime you get in trouble, just act a fool and the cops will leave. Just act a fool. You get you drunk and driving and you pull up in your house, the cop pull up on you. Act a fool, and they're going to leave. And that's, that's the way society's supposed to work. Because you act out, and you become belligerent, the cops are just supposed to leave the scene. This is a, this is a former police officer's channel. Um, let's see. 
police, they should pull people over before they reach their house. You are supposed to um, initiate the traffic stop when the traffic offense was committed, not down the road. Nobody know when the traffic stop was, was initiated. They probably watched him pull up in the thing and tried to contact him. He never went in his house. You have a right to contact the person if they walk in the house. You don't get to say, well, you committed a traffic violation. You're a suspicious driver. There's a suspicious person. And, and because you pulled up in your driveway, it, I got to go home now. You, 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 you are free from being held accountable for your conduct because you're now in your driveway. P, I mean, God, if, if some of these people would have would be police officers or running the police department, we would never catch anybody. He says, first of all, he was already parked. Second, they trespassed on his property, property after he warned them anyway. Third, it was not his job to talk to them, incriminate himself. Fourth, if he was guilty per the caller, then bringing proof that it was indeed him who was driving recklessly instead of going by a racist hearsay. How is it racist? He could not be incriminated for defending himself, his family, and his property. You listen, but this is the, this is this is this this is the type of environment that's created on this channel. First of all, him being parked means nothing. Means nothing. If you are drunk driving, or you have ran into somebody's car down the street, or you're reckless driving, you don't get the just because you parked don't mean somehow you absolved of any criminal responsibility. It, it, even if you're drunk, if you're drunk and it's proven that you were in physical control of a motor vehicle, you are drinking and driving. Just because you jump out of the car when the cops arrive, don't make you no make you absolved from 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 uh, crimes. They said he's trespassing on property. If you are being investigated for a criminal offense, the police are not trespassing on your property. If they have a right to detain you and contact you because you're committing a crime on the roadway, you're not trespassing. And then they said he don't have to incriminate himself. Listen, cops do have a right to ask you to communicate with them. They probably had enough to detain and arrest him, but they, they probably didn't because they were trying to mitigate the fallout by communicating with him. Anyway, I mean, we can, we can just go on. The police lie all the time, okay? The homeowner acted what was, the homeowner actions was unreasonable, which is probably somebody that followed me on here. And if you look at it, just think about this. You look at it, and if I click on this, people are probably bashing them. Let's see. Now, obviously, somebody's combating what he's saying. So uh, the female cops sound like a rageaholic. What the F is wrong with her? See, see, the people don't understand, and I explained it at the beginning of the video, that she pulled up in a very different scenario than he pulled up in. He pulled up and was talking to the guy. She pulled up. The guy had a gun out. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, I, I could go through all these comments, man. You know, but, but this is an anti-police page now. And he say he may say it's not or whatever the case may be. But if you look at any of these videos, it's always something negative about police without context. And this is a former police officer. Anyway, I'm not trying to rag on him, but I got to tell the truth about what happened. Uh, so you guys have seen the explanation of that video. I know it was long, but it's definitely worth the watch. It is worth every minute of watching and, and, and hearing the diagnostics of what's going on here so we can better understand policing in America. The first scene, the first situation was unjustified. Kicking a person in the face and handcuffs just because they spit on you is unjustified. Defending yourself as a police officer, rightfully contacting a person who did a shootout with you in his front yard, that's a justified police encounter. Anyway, I love you guys, man. Shout out to the Tatum Report. Make sure you donate to Tatum Report. You can get a hat, a pin if you're a winner. Hear that? Hear that snap? That's a snap. That thing, that thing snaps in there, and it snaps out. Quality. Quality. Anyway, I love you guys. See you on the next one. I'm out.